Today on the channel, from the Gaming Greats line, GameStop exclusive, Flame Trooper. Welcome everyone, Kyle here, and welcome back to the channel for our daily Star Wars unboxings and reviews in 2021. And today, from the Gaming Greats line, the GameStop exclusive Star Wars Black Series Flame Trooper. But for all your other Star Wars needs, and a whole lot more, hit up Big Bad Toy Store, link in the description below. So today, we got a GameStop exclusive Gaming Greats Flame Trooper mixed bag on these gaming ones you guys know i don't play any video games currently waiting for the day i retire i'll get back into video games when i retire uh, i'll have more time hopefully um, but i don't know any of these characters for the most part the flame trooper I, i'm not really aware of this reminds me of the old hot snow troopers what this reminds me of but it's uh, the opposite with the flame uh, trooper name here it's from the jedi fallen order game never played it never really heard about it even if uh you can believe that which you probably can um, but, you know, I do love a good figure. We got some gaming greats figures that I've picked up over the years. I don't complete all of them. This is about the only Star Wars Black Series 6-inch scale figures I don't get are the gaming greats one because I just don't have a recollection of any of the characters. But every once in a while, i got to get a deal out there. I'll come across a good deal or something that'll pipe my interest, uh, like that upcoming Wookiee. What's his name? Cabal or something? You know i got to get that. A, a Wookiee with a big sword? Sign me up all day long. I'll take him all day long. Uh, I'll be picking that one up. And same with this one. I picked up this Flame Trooper. Couldn't hurt. That's what I figured. So we'll take a look at it like we normally do. Take a look at the box. Talk about it. Unbox it. Talk about it. See where it goes from there. So let's look at the packaging first. There he is. Flame Trooper. Flame on is what the Human Torch would say. But all in white. Very reminiscent of the Hoth Snow Trooper as you guys are fully aware I am sure. Love the packaging here. It does have the mural on the side. We're getting accustomed to these murals now. So you got the mural that all fit together like all the other ones. Gaming Greats logo up here. You got the window to let the light in, as they say. I do love the blue on the Gaming Greats. I, I'm a sucker for blue on my packaging. I don't know. You got nothing up there. All the warnings on the bottom, as usual. And then the back. There's a little glamour shot. Star Wars Black Series logo up top. We got a little blurb. We'll see what that's all about. Then you look down below, and you got all the warnings. So what's it say here? He is number three in the Gaming Greats line, for those keeping track at home. Flame Trooper, Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order, features Flame Troopers, specialized commandos that support the war machine of the Galactic Empire, highly proficient in the use of incendiary weapons. Easy for me to say. All right, let's get him out of the package. Let's see what's doing here. There it goes. See you later. Love that packaging, as you guys know. You got the outer clam bubble as well. It's got the Gaming Greats sticker on it. See you later up high warnings nobody cares see you later does anybody read those it's just all about those lawyers they got to get their money you guys know how it goes so first thing i notice here we got a little bit of off whiteness it looks like this guy has sat in the sun for a long time you guys remember the old snow troopers storm troopers from the old kenner days a lot of those have yellowed over the years uh, this guy looks like he's on his way but i'm sure it's supposed to be that way i would assume it does come with his big flame trooper gun as well there he is in the plastic prison a lot of whites going on here. A lot of whites. A lot of white colors. Pop them out. Pop it out. See you later. Goodbye. All right. So I do like this gun. It's a big, long flame rifle. Basically a flamethrower. I like it the extra red on the color. Like it's hot. Like it's burning hot. Now, I wish this would have had some kind of an effect to it. That would have been a nice... Uh, we've seen that before. We've seen some add-on effects from the Black Series in the past, so I'm not sure exactly why we didn't get that here. But it would have been cool to have a flame attachment here. I could see people buying those just for this uh, weapon, if that would have been the case. Uh, but an alright weapon. Not a lot of color to it. Just the detail of the red on the end, which I think is really needed. If this is a flame trooper, you need some kind of flame representation, and that's the best we were going to get on this one. So, is what it is there. Uh, this guy here, uh, I can't remember that snow trooper off the top of my head very well, but I gotta think there's a lot of reuse on this. It seems like most gaming greats figures, there is a lot of reuse, and what am I saying? Most toy companies do a lot of reuse anyways, but the gaming greats usually have uh, a good amount of reuse going on. Does this connect in? Hmm. Hmm. I'm looking here. So he's got a little uh, backpack. I don't think it is. Oh, it is removable. He's got a removable backpack there. 
So that's cool. It looks like this maybe is the flame backpack that, uh, you know, supports the flames and stuff. I would have to think this plugs in somewhere on the gun, but, oh, it does. It does. You just got to be smarter than the gun. Down here by the handle, you plug that bad boy in like so. So it's not connected in the, in the package, which makes sense. Uh, you wouldn't have it connected to the package, but boy, how cool would it be if there was a nice flame accessory on the end of this, but it does just plug right in there. Uh, you got to be careful though. You guys know these things get a little brittle, especially if you're moving them around, they could easily break on you, but nice uh, brown color to kind of accent the colors, at least on this with a little gray and white, instead of him being totally washed out in white colors, adding a little color to this flame trooper here. This flame trooper is not double jointed. He has double knees though. Double jointed knees he does have, but not arms. Uh, that doesn't bother me a whole lot. I know some people do really like the double jointedness. Me, I'm all right. I'll, I'll live without it. Can I get it in his hand? Uh, let's see here. Got a very, very, uh, not sticky hand, but a hard hand. There we go. Jeez, it's hard to get in there. I do like this though. I like the I like the weapon. The weapon is a nice touch instead of just a little blaster or something. Gives this guy a little bit of point of difference. The head does turn, but there's really not a lot of room to turn the head on this guy. Same with the waist. It's all pretty much blocked by his armor, his helmet, his scarf around his neck. And then even the legs and stuff, uh, your articulation is very blocked. He's got his kind of duster skirt thing going on here. So really, not a lot of articulation to do with this guy. He does have articulation, you just can't get it because of uh, the stuff on him. Uh, but I guess you don't need a ton of uh, ninja moves out of this guy. He's going to stand in the corner and just blast away with some flames on everybody. Uh, that's what we want out of our flame trooper. So that makes a lot of sense to me. I like this guy. I would buy more of this guy if I could get him for around $10 on clearance. I don't think that day will ever happen. But if it did, I would buy more. Uh, I wouldn't mind having two or three of these. Just uh, look at cool as a unit, a flame trooper unit. How about ringsidecollectibles.com? Use discount code KYLE, save 10%. You get a little stand here. They did have a 4th of July sale, $10 or 10 stands for $2.49 plus the discount code Kyle, save 10%. Uh, I love these stands for my Star Wars Black Series, as you guys are fully aware of at this point. Fits like a glove on there. He'll look good in my Star Wars display that I'm trying to work on. We'll get to it on the channel here one of these days. But as far as a gaming greats figure, I don't know anything about him. I don't know if he's a sassy flame trooper or he's a nice flame trooper. Or he's a mute flame trooper. Who knows the backstory? Because I sure don't. But if you do, you can leave me a note in the comments below. But I like what I got here. I like the extra red on the end of the gun. That is the thing that really took it over the top for me. And I like that the gun attaches and stuff as well. But a very cool army builder. A very cool figure uh, in our Star Wars Black Series collection. But I ask you, like always, what are your thoughts on this one? You passing on it? Did you have any fondness? Did you play the Jedi Fallen Order game? Did you like this guy? Is he a main character? I have no idea. You tell me. And don't forget to like the video. You made it this far. Might as well hit the old like. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. You guys know we got new videos every single day on the channel. Who else gives you daily content? Sometimes three videos a day. I try to mix them up a little. Marvel, Star Wars, wrestling, action figure hunts, weekly purchases. I mix it all up for you guys because I know everybody isn't into everything like I am. I'm an absolute maniac, as you guys all know. So uh, make sure you subscribe to the channel, support the old channel. Follow me on social media at SirPaul64 on Twitter, the underscore Kyle underscore Peterson on Instagram, ProWrestlingTees.com, Kyle Peterson. Search it out there. Get your very own Kyle Peterson t-shirt. That's about it. So for the Stormtrooper, I'm a Stormtrooper, Flame Trooper. What am I doing here? For the Flame Trooper, I'm Kyle. I'll see you guys all real soon.